There he is. Hello, mate. You're You're side- Am I sideways? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> right, let me see if I can work this out. I don't know how to do it. I got off. In my head in there. There we go. There we go. Right, mate. I can't. Oh, oh. Bloody hell, Dusty. <laughs> can you. You've got that portrait lock on or something? There no, it's because it's on a tripod. I should be alright there. There we go. That's all right. I can see most of you. The top of my head, though. There. That'll do. Hey. That'll do. You propped up. You might fall <laughs> over, but. You can see that big arm. That's all we need. Mate, look at the Oh, one of us has got really bad connection. Might be me. Let me go off my wife. That's all right, Billy. We'll wait. That there is. Uh, I think so. Yeah, it's not freezing. Did That's you see it. my arm? Yeah. Get that. Get that big arm. The closer it is to the camera, you see the, the bigger it looks. What's that about? I had a. Uh, What's that from? I had a uh, deep tissue massage. Right. Okay. Under your arm. It was my bicep, but it's just it's it's. I had my. Um, I had the inside of here done, and uh, on my neck and the top of my back as well. Right, okay. It just caused me, just caused me a lot of pain when I was training, so... <laughs> so you don't feel better for it, then? I didn't. You don't feel better for it? Oh, yeah, I feel a million times better. It's just bruised. Right, right, right. She was doing it, you know, when they do all the uh, all the tools and all that? Oh, the, um, like, the metal... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of them. It looks like agony, mate. Yeah, mate, it was horrible, but it's, it seems to have done the trick. Obviously, I'm going to keep going back and back and seeing it like every every two weeks or so and, and see how I see how I get on. But I, I seem to be training now with not a lot of pain in yep. my uh, in my traps, which I was before. So yeah, common that I I get it in my traps bad as well. Yeah, I just think this does it seem really tight. Like I haven't been able to train much with adults or doing shrugs for a while, and uh, I, I think this seems to seems to be sorting it out. But I think it's just years. of you know, scar tissue building up. Yeah. Not doing anything about it. So. Yeah, fair enough, mate. What What have you been training today? Then you've just got back from the gym. Yeah, yeah. So, I have been I have been going down and doing cardio first. All right. Then coming home, getting a few more meals in me, and then um, and then going back and doing some weights. But today I did a I did a uh, a push session. Uh, around around two o'clock, so I'm gonna go back down later. And maybe do some cardio and some core as well. Nice, yeah. What what have you been doing for your cardio? Just treadmill. Uh, no, I've been liking the bike recently. Yeah. Yeah. Big Billy, big bike. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, it's been good. It's been good. I, I, I usually I usually uh, I usually hate cardio, but it's been alright. Yeah, who doesn't, mate? I just occasionally do over ten reps when I'm squatting, and that's that's my cardio. Lifting weights, but quicker. Yeah, just a bit quicker. Yeah, <laughs> mate. That's that's what you notice when you when you're bulking and that. You know, you know, you're getting some size when you do a set of like ten on bench and you you sit up and you'll be out of breath <laughs> from from press. And yeah, uh, takes, yeah, yeah, it's good fun, mate. It's good fun. What are you drinking? Uh, I've got some aminos left over from my session, so I, I didn't I didn't really have a. Uh, a very tough, it's a very tough session. Just kind of got in, got it done. So struggled to get the uh, struggled to get the old liquids in when I'm training. I don't really feel yeah. that thirsty, so I like to you know carry on drinking my uh, aminos after. Oh no, it's frozen again. Oh, good, yeah. I forget, I forget to drink training. I put my bottle in yeah. my bag. Yeah, forget. Hey mate, some. I put a lot of effort into making something really good for intra, so I'll have um, I'll have carbs, glutamine, uh, creatine, and aminos, always essentials, aminos, and uh, yeah. just forget. My bag. <laughs> kind of pointless. Yeah, but because I, no. I, I do get thirsty, but then I realise I've just been, you know, having a couple of sips and now I work out, and I've got yeah. a cake full of aminos to chug down. Yeah, 
I'm just struggling. It keeps breaking up again, Billy. I'm going to try and turn my Wi-Fi off, and I'm going to see if that helps. Okay, mate. See if that helps. You still there? Have I got you? Yeah. Hopefully that's better. Hopefully I've fixed it. All right. You're a little bit, you're a little bit blurry, but I can deal with that. Yeah, it's well to come in after I've changed it. Ah, oh, there you are right now. Yeah, sweet. What have you been doing today then, man? Have you been working? Uh, no. So I've been... Uh, do, I did some little bits for, uh, for my... Uh, business this morning, uh, a few emails and whatnot, um, and then I had some food, let that digest, and then I went and trained, and now I'm just uh, putting my feet up for a couple of hours before I go and train again. Fucking life of Riley. Life yeah, Riley. Good lad. Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. I got an interesting question earlier. Um, a guy asked me... He has lost a lot of weight recently. He's done really well. He's lost like 15 kilos. And, uh, but he's, he's only doing cardio. He's not really taking weights. And the last bit just won't budge. You know, he's, he said he's sitting at around about 15% now, which is, you know, he's still got a bit to lose. Um, yeah. but he can't seem to get rid of the last bit. He's only doing cardio. And he was asking me, you know, should I start doing weights? Should I stop cardio? What, what's your thoughts on that? Well, I mean... Obviously, there's been a lot of hype recently of everyone kind of jumping on this bandwagon of, you know, calories in versus calories out, which, you know, I completely agree with. You've got to be in a calorie deficit to be losing weight. Obviously, you do. But I think there's obviously a lot more to it uh, in terms of, like, well, what else are you doing in your life? Mm. So, obviously, he he's obviously been doing cardio, cardio, cardio. So, he's going to be in a deficit. He's probably been watching what he's eating. But in terms of body composition and, you know, shifting that last bit of fat, I feel like calorie deficit, you can only go into it for so long before you're like, well, I'm eating nothing. My body's adapted and I'm still not losing weight. So look at other things. Look at, you know, how are your macronutrients split out? How much protein are you getting in comparison to carbs and fats? Has that been the same throughout the whole time he's been dieting? If it has, then change it up a little bit, you know? I'm, I'm not a massive advocate of a, you know, a keto diet, but, you know, it is good for shifting them from, you know, if, if you're in a deficit and, you know, you're losing the carbs, it can help you, you know, put, you know, take it down, change things up. I would say mm. things like, you know, it's not obviously essential, but your, uh, your supplementation and your timing of that around your sessions, uh, are you recovering properly? Sleep has been a massive one for me recently. Uh, I feel like that's a variable that everybody should be in control of because it is completely vital. If you're looking at calories in versus calories out, it's energy in versus energy out. Sleep's going to play a massive, massive part in that. If you're going into a deficit and you're not getting enough sleep, you're not recovering properly. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I would say to him, you know, if he's trying to shift that last bit of stubborn fat, then they're the three things that I would, I would focus on. Um, because obviously he's been in a deficit for quite a while now. Uh, if it's you know if he's adapting, it's slowly you know becoming harder to maintain uh, and lose more weight. Look at your sleep, look at your macronutrient breakdown, and look at your supplementation properly. Yeah, good advice, mate. Do you, do you um do you take any sleep aid supplements? You know, like ZMA or um... yeah. I, I mean, I, for the for the last few years, I've always thought you know. I, I don't need that stuff. I, I can, you know what I mean? Sleep, sleep. You just sleep when you when you need sleep. Uh, but looking more into it, I've found that my performance has been so much better, especially since I've been doing the uh, the push pull leg split. Because obviously it's a lot more taxing on the body. You're training some things twice a week rather than just once a week. Uh, with my old split that I used to be doing, so I, you know I found it more and more stressful on the body to to carry on doing that. So um, I, I found that, you know, adding things to, uh, to a, you know, sleep stack or, you, you know, your supplements that you take before bed has been really beneficial. And also, you know, tracking sleep as well. Yeah. Uh, you can get various apps, you know, heart rate monitors, things like that. I've been using a Fitbit most recently just to, uh, just to track my sleep. It's quite annoying, you know, having something on your wrist when you're sleeping. But, um, to, you know, to look, to wake up and have 
all that data mm. uh, it's just been just been great so i've been i've been using uh, cbd have you uh, yeah i've been vaping that uh, before i go to sleep um i obviously use your, your zinc and magnesium and uh, things like that um 5-HTP I found has been really good I've been using none from now foods from you guys yeah good stuff um, obviously take, take one of those and um, ashwagandha as well um, it's been you know helping me fall into a really deep sleep mm. yeah one of our old um, ambassadors uh, Sam Sam Turpin yeah where's uh, by ash, ashwagandha I've, uh, yeah I've incorporated it into mine uh, I've been having it nearly two months, I'd say. One of them, you know, it, it's hard It's hard to know if you're feeling the effects. Do you know what I mean? I think it's one of them where perhaps if I stopped taking it, I'd be aware that I'd stopped. Yeah, than... yeah. Yeah, I think obviously it gets into your system and maybe it's a, it's a slow um, mm. process of, you know, building it up in your system and, and, you know, you might not feel the effects, you know, like you would a big shot of caffeine or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But obviously, then if you stop taking it and it slowly comes out of your system, you know, <clears throat> would your sleep probably be the same? I don't know. I'm sure there's studies out there that, have, that people have done which will show it to work in that way. Um, yeah. You know, you, you might not be able to feel an, an instant effect of it. You just, you know, just knock you out. Um, mm. But if you stop taking it, would your sleep quality be, be better? Because obviously, I always thought if I woke up feeling really, you know, refreshed. That I must have had a, a you know a really deep sleep. From monitoring it these last few weeks on, on my Fitbit, um, I found that you know that that isn't actually the case. Um, you know, you, you go up and down. I didn't realise how many times I was waking up during the night as well, because obviously you wake up for maybe a few seconds or, or a minute or so, and you don't actually remember that you've woken up, you know, in the morning. Yeah. Um, but you know, from from seeing that data, you know, you can see. The majority of my sleep is obviously spent in a, in a light sleep, um, which I've been trying to, you know, improve because most of your, your physical recovery comes from being in a deep sleep. Mm. Um, and I feel like the things that I've been taking before bedtime uh, uh, have been, been helping been helping that. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, I, I get this stuff from, from, from you guys, so it's worth incorporating into my, you know, into my bedtime routine for the sole fact that, you, you know, even if it's not, um, directly responsible for my, you know, getting more deep sleep. It, it's worth trying just just for them extra, you know, half an hour or an hour in, in a deep sleep because you know that's where you that's where you do any proper, uh, you know, your mental and physical recovery in that time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely right, mate. Um, I completely agree. Um, what I've been doing recently um, by MHP, they've got one called Recovery PM. It's based around ZMA, zinc, man magnesium. Um, but it's also got like extra vitamins and that the soluble powder. Um, you mix that with like a hundred milliliters of water. Really nice. Tastes really good. And yeah, that always knocks me out nice. And I always wake up better after that. It's definitely yeah. really important. Rated sleep. Very underrated. It sounds stupid to say, yeah, but if you're not sleeping, you're not right. You're not going to be able to train tomorrow. You're not going to grow. Yeah, yeah. I completely agree. And I think it's good that, you know, more people are... Uh... They're putting more emphasis on that now, and they're starting to understand that, you know, without a good night's sleep, you, you, you know, you, you, you're going to be struggling. Yeah. Uh, with, with you know, with energy and performance and, and, and things like that. So I think no, I think it's really good. I think there's a you know a few guys who have got quite a good influence within the uh, within the industry putting the right amount of emphasis on, on that, and, uh, and you know how how vital it can be. Hmm. Yeah. Right, mate. Hair's looking very sharp, Billy. You are. Your hair's looking very sharp. Well, it could be shorter on the sides, but you know, I, <laughs> I like I like to keep it trim. You know, you once a week. Stay on top of it more than anyone I know. I think. Pardon? You stay on top of it more than anyone I know. I know. I suppose it's just my thing, mate. Um, people, you know, have their uh, have their <laughs> thing, but you know, yeah, I, I I like to get my hair cut. You know, it makes me feel good. <laughs> uh, I like oh, sorry, a bit of uh, fly in my conservatory. Um, yeah, just just a feel good thing, I suppose. I I, I feel like I'm, I'm more confident with my haircut. Maybe that's weird, but is it because it makes your head look smaller? 
therefore your body looked bigger because it might it might it might <laughs> be that mate yeah it might That's be that factor for me when your hair gets really long it makes your head look bigger and then by comparison your body looks smaller yeah <laughs> i'm convinced you can, that, you can say that for lots of other things though can you <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah well, <laughs> well. <laughs> so, talking about a uh, talking about a confidence boost yeah, let's keep it clean, Billy, all right? <laughs> yeah, sorry, mate. I'm, I'm not the best for these Instagram lives. You'll just have to give me a bit of a slap on the wrist if I... Uh... No, that's all right. A bit tongue-in-cheek's all right. Oh, Tom Williams has just jumped on. All right, Tom. How's it all right, doing? big boy. <laughs> big boy. Chief of beef. He's, no. working at, um, he's working at any time fitness in York now, is Tom? Like yeah. I saw him, yeah. He told me that he was there. Good lad. He's enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. Billy... I want to think, um, where did we get your nickname, Chief of Beef? What, where, <laughs> where did that come from? I have like, no idea where that came from, mate. I, I cannot pinpoint. <laughs> we'll have to uh, we'll have to look through our old messages and see where it where it cropped up. Or was it a thing that we uh, that we decided on in person? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but the Chief of Beef, the cob. I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I have no idea. <laughs> the quality nickname. Yeah, it's not bad. I've been called worse things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair play. Oh, what? What? Uh, what's the rest of your week looking like then? Um. Well, I'm, I'm not working full time anymore. Um. I'm just kind of I do doing my own thing for a bit. Um. But you know, I'm I'm, I'm picking up a few a few jobs, things to uh, to keep me busy. So. Yeah, I'm just trying to uh, trying to fill my day with just be as productive as possible, really. Nice, uh, that's good. That... Though. Giving you more Pardon? training, giving you more training time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm not one of these who likes to uh, to live in the gym. You know, I, I think it's good to you know get in and get it done uh, and get out. I'm not about you know spending all day in there, but um, but yeah, it's, it's, it, the the main thing for me is having enough time uh, before my workout, I feel like I'm really kind of meticulous about the way I prepare before I you know, get in the gym. Mm. Um, so, you know, I like to eat, say today I trained at, at around two o'clock, something like that, about half past two. I always make sure that I have like a good meal, at, you know, around half past 12, 12 o'clock, and I like to feel quite hungry before my session. Right. And I know, I'm, you know, I've got an empty stomach. And then, you know, my, my pre-workout's going to, you know, hit, hit me like a train. And, um, you know, if I if I don't get that hour, hour and a half in, I feel like it puts me in, a, you know, a negative headspace. It's quite quite a strange way to, uh, pardon me, it's quite a strange way to uh, to think about it. But, um, yeah, that's that's just me. I like to have, a, you know, a good couple of hours before my sessions, you know, just to, uh, to, uh, to mentally pr- prepare and, and get in that zone. So... Right, yeah, fair play, interesting. Have you, have you been training solo recently, or are you training with uh, Lee? Or is, is Becky still going to the gym? Pardon? Does Becky still go? No, she well, she she she, she does every now and again, but um, it's it's hard for her, you know, with um, with work and, and and whatnot. She's uh she's currently doing some care work, so you know it's uh, pro subs. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's hard to um, it's hard to fit it in for her. So I, I'm lucky in that respect. I don't have as um, as hectic work schedule as she does. So um, you know, it allows me to train. You know, when I want and when I feel ready. Yeah, fair play. Have you been training with Lee, or are you training mostly by yourself? Yeah, I've, I've been training by myself a lot of the time. I like to have a couple of sessions a week. You know, with 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 other people. Um. You know, just just to just to uh, it's a bit of a marker, really, just to see where I'm at. Yeah. Um, you know, strength wise is the main thing. Obviously, you feel a little bit more confidence with with, with somebody there. You know, whether that's just just for the um, just for the kind of companionship there, or, or whether it's you know as a as actually uh, spotting you when you're doing the movements and things. I like to have somebody there. You know, when I'm when I'm squatting, mm. uh, things like that. I don't really like the idea of having somebody spotting me when I'm squatting. I just think, you know, you, if you've got your, you know, your power up there, you should be fine. But it's yeah. just, just, it's just to have somebody there, really. Just a mental support, yeah. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that's right, that's right, mate. Yeah, 
Yeah. Do you do you find you train and work harder with people, or are you one of them who can stay really well motivated by yourself? I definitely, one hundred percent, without a doubt, train better on my own. Train better on your own. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I, I find it difficult to find people who will, you know, I don't mind a bit of, of you know, you know, chatting, having a laugh. Yeah. But, you know, when it's when it's that that time in between sets can just get longer and longer and longer. And I'm, I'm guilty of it myself, but you know, if I, if I don't have somebody there, it doesn't give me the, the option to kind of go off on one and, and start chatting. Right. I mean, especially just, you know, as you get older, as you know, you, you don't see your friends as much, you know, you're not at, at school or university or anything anymore. So you're not surrounded by people all the time. I mean, I, I was always used to having loads of people around me at university because I was li living with people and things like that. Uh, and so when you train with somebody now, it's almost like you're having a you know catch up because you've not seen them in a week or two weeks. So you know that that you know what would be a forty-five minute session on your own, really pushing your body, really sore the next day, can turn into two hours of just baffing. Yeah, yeah. You're absolutely yeah. right. It's very true. Plus, obviously, if you're not chatting. If there's two or three of you, sometimes just waiting for your turn, waiting for your set. Can take yeah. a while. Yeah. I mean I wouldn't be a, I wouldn't be opposed to training with somebody, but they'd have to be somebody, you know, with with similar goals, um, yeah. you know, on a similar kind of level to, to what I'm at. Um and you know can train at the same times as I can. And uh, you know, if they're gonna be there every day, then you're used to each other, you have you know, a good level of communication and, and you, your sessions you know, in turn become quite productive. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't be opposed to it, but it's just finding the right person for that. <laughs> it's, it sounds like a uh, dating video now. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm on a dating website. <laughs> Hi, I'm Billy. If you want to come and train with me, I... Uh... <laughs> Maybe we'll just film, a... film an advertisement and get it out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That could, that could be a uh, business venture. That could be a new business venture, Tinder, but for uh, gym partners. Yeah, find a gympartner.com. I like it. There'd be too many weirdos. There would be a lot of weirdos, yeah. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't be comfortable. And obviously all of the pictures would be the ones that people generally don't want to see on Tinder. They'd be all like shirtless gym pictures and no, nah, you're all right. Yeah, yeah. What have you been, what have you been uh, finding good pre-workout recently? <clears throat> Ooh, right. Well, for me, right, uh, the new killer loaded for 5% has, has just ruined other pre-workouts for me. I love it. You know what I mean? It's, it's so good. It's, because for me, it's the first pre that I've had that I don't need to stack. Everything else I've wanted to stack. Do you know what I mean? I wanted to add creatine to it. I've wanted to, you know, have something extra stim and add that to it or, a, you know, put a, a, a pump enhancer with it. But full as fuck, uh, the new Kill It Reloaded even. I used to put full as fuck with Kill It, but the new Kill It Reloaded has everything that you need. Um, have, you, have you tried it yet? No, I've tried, I, I, I tried Kill It back in the day, but I've not tried the, uh, the Kill It Reloaded. Yeah. I once tried the, uh, the 5150, and I will never, ever take that again. It was just, it, it just killed it, mate. It was just too, I, I think there's something stupid like 600 milligrams of caffeine in there. It's just too much. It's just too yeah. much. I, I think you know, even ones with you know with three hundred, I would be a bit, you, you yeah. know, that's that's kind of my my boundary. I, I just don't feel like you need anything more than that. You're just heading for a massive crash. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely uh, not for everyone, and it's definitely not for beginners. Yeah, that's one that you need to work <laughs> work to. You get these people. Yeah. That's what I try to refrain from. I try really hard to refrain from double scooping, then triple scooping, then but because it's just a never ending road and you end up having half a tub as one one pre and you're only just feeling it. I, I, I tend to cycle it off and off. All what I'll do is once I get a bit more immune to the stimulant, the caffeine and stuff, I'll start having non stims. Um, you know, and, and don't be having pre every session. You you don't you don't need stimulants, you know, for, for a quick arm session, for a quick chest session. You don't 
need that level of stimulant. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, 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 go on, what are you saying? I was just going to say, I've just been using like pump enhancers, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nox Pump have a really good non stim, uh, you know, Dorian Yates one. Um, MHP have a really good uh, vascular or vascular, vascular, something like that. Really good pump enhancer. And of yeah. course, fuck, they're really good um, for if you've just got a short session. And if you're not, you know, if you're already quite awake, if you've already got quite a lot of insulin, you're not going to need it. You don't need them. So just get a pump enhancer, get a big chest on chest day and happy days. Yeah, yeah. I was the same today. I mean, I, I, I knew, you know, I'd, I'd only have uh, 45 minutes, you know, pump a little bit of, um, you know, I, I, the way I'm splitting at the moment is I was doing, so chest, uh, shoulders today, I was doing all my heavy kind of compound pressing, things like that. And then, you know, for, for the chest part of the uh, of the push session, I was doing the flies and cable flies, uh, dumbbell pullovers, things like that. You know, your more isolation things. And, you know, I, I knew I'd only have 40, 45 minutes to zip through it. So I just took, you know, a scoop of um, a full of full foot by 5%. Because I, I don't need all these, you know, these, these stimulants for the session. You know, I'm, I'm not going to really perform any better within the 45 minute window, you know, if, if I'm going to have a lot of stimulants. I already, I, you know, I had a good meal, um, a good carb meal, you know, before I trained. I felt awake. It was early on in the day. I've not been working. I've not really done much um, apart from you know, watch TV, do a few emails. So I just thought, well, what is the point in, you know, in, uh, you know, getting that heart rate through the roof uh, before right. you get to the gym, just, just, just for, uh, you know, a 40, 45 minute session. You know, so sometimes it's fun to, fun to do it, but I think it can get silly, you know, um, at some points, but you know, when you, when you're taking it every day and, uh, but I know what it's like. I've done it before, you know, I've done it for, you know, two months on the trot to come a pre-workout every day. To, to actually wean yourself off of it, it's, it's hard. Like, yeah, it's uh, you, you, them first few sessions back, you are going to feel terrible, and uh, and you, you know you're not going to feel like you, you're buzzing. Which, you, you know, if you if you get yourself in a mental state um, to take on that on that session, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll have a worse session uh, in terms of you know productivity and uh, and um, and progress progressive overload. But it's just are you going to feel as good? Probably not. No, no, you're right, mate. Just a quick one. Uh, whilst we're talking about freeze, Pro Sup's coming on and saying hello, just reminded me. Um, you know, you remember uh, their workouts, Jekyll and Hyde? Yeah, yeah. There's a new Jekyll uh, coming out, a uh, new formula, which I'm really, really excited to try. I think is, we'll be... is Jekyll a non stim? Uh,. Because I feel like I've, ha I've yeah. had I had one of them before, which was it was a stimulant based one. And it was, it was really good. Uh, one step. Yeah, it would make sense. Jekyll, Doctor Jekyll was the non stim, and Hyde was the stimulant. That would make sense. I'm pretty yeah. sure. That, <laughs> I think that's I've, the right. One. I've tried one of the uh, one of the power portions as well. You know the uh, the Hyde power portions, the cans that they do as right. well. They're good. really good. I've not yeah, had. Really good. good, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I took one. Uh, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was just about to go. You know, just just gonna go do down to the uh, down to the gym, do some cardio and a bit of car. I'd not eaten yet. I just you know had a uh, had a kind of that at the gym. We just had it at the gym, and it was you know it was really good, really good, good yeah. boost of energy. I'll try that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Billy. Well, we're we're yeah, nearly o'clock. Yeah, we're nearly at five o'clock. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll, I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you get your stuff together, and uh, I imagine you'll be going to the gym after work, won't you? I am. It's push today, mate. International chest slash push day. That'll be fun at, uh, at your busy, at your busy gym. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm really not. Go to pure. Yeah, it's a nightmare at the moment. The January crew still haven't left, but uh, I don't know. I'm doing my bit. I'm trying to help the ones that need help. I'm trying to give a bit of advice here and there. It's normally very unwelcome advice. You approach someone in the gym, and you're like, oh, we we'll just help with that. They're like, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. I offered, so don't worry. Yeah. I suppose it's just one of them. You've got to let some people learn by trial and error. Of course, of course. Yeah, but, you know, if people see me in there and they want they want a hand, I'll give them a hand. That's all right. <laughs> I bet you will. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Billy. <laughs> what, what, do we, what do we talk about? <laughs> right. I'll let you get off anyway, mate. It's been uh, good to cool. chat. I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to uh, come over and uh, 
get a, get a session in near the uh, Power Body HQ soon. That's it. Yeah, nice one. I really appreciate you jumping on live, mate. That's uh, that's awesome. Anyone who's made it to the end of the video or is watching this later, make sure you check out Billy Mars Fit. If you go on our page, we've shared his posts a couple of times. Um, he's he's not hard to find. He's also in our little ambassador tabs of Story Heart. So, am I? Yeah, some love. Yeah, of course you are. Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> nice one. All right, Billy. Well, I'll catch you really soon, mate. Uh, thanks yeah. Again. Good to speak to you, mate. Peace out. Take care, bud.